Hello, in this video we're gonna see how we can uh, install an SMTP relay mail server on a VPS. So uh, the VPS to be able to send the emails from it through the help of this uh, SMTP relay server. You may want to have an SMTP relay server because for instance some of the VPS providers it doesn't open the 25 ports, so you don't. You can't have your email server installed on their uh, on their VPS, or you want to have a dedicated, more uh, good solution and reliable for sending emails from your VPS and your applications, so the email doesn't reach the the spam folder. In in this video, we're gonna use the Zoho. Zepto Mail, this is a transactional email service offered by the Zoho team that will allow you to send uh, emails to their service. The service is not free, you need to pay like about two dollars and a half for 10,000 emails that were gonna be available for uh, six months. I have uh, I have an account credit created to them, so I bought already a credit and these are the email that I still have in, in the account. I have set up some some domains in here. To be able to, to set up the domains, you just need to do the, the similar things uh, like uh, any other SMTP provider to add some uh, details in your DNS, these are the details that they asked me to, to add and afterward you just verify their, uh, verify the domain. I have uh, set up a um, VPS in Hetzner, if you don't uh, know Hetzner it's a good VPS solution, it offers reliable and performance VPS servers, uh, I will let you a link into the description with the review that I made for Hesner and uh, I want to be able to send emails for this cloud panel installations that I have on, on this server so I have here some WordPress websites and other websites that I want to for them to send emails automatically so uh, to not go into the every WordPress installation and set up there the email uh, uh, the details because you can also do that but it's better to have something done on the server side and when the application that you are hosting on that server wants to send an email to use this uh, relay server to send send the email so this is what we're gonna do you oh that, this is what we're gonna use i've also written an article in here with the steps and configurations that we're gonna do i've already have the vps details and I have already installed Postfix there. This is the tool that will help us set the relay email server at the VPS level. So I don't need to run this because these are already there. We need to modify some configurations first in the Postfix to be able to edit, uh, to, to be able to, to configure this relay email server. There is a Postfix configuration called main.cf that we are gonna need to modify and add these details in there you need to add this uh, the relay host which is the SMTP server that has that uh, Zeftomer will provide if you go in here and you go to the dashboard in here you have some configuration details and in here you have the SMTP details and uh, you have the ports you have the server name you have the email and the API key sorry the password in our case that we're gonna use to send uh, these this emails through Zepto mail so we're gonna go and set these things up I have to logged into the to the VPS in, in here and first we're gonna go and uh, modify the main configuration because Postfix is already installed there let's go and do sudo nano and it here at the end we are gonna go and add the details from the from the article let me copy this in here i've already configured the 
uh, from configure the relay host and uh, after we're gonna see what else we need to do to, to have this set up let me go and add this in here so let me save this okay i've added the first configurations in there then we're gonna need them to go and create a password for to do this we're gonna need to create this uh, sasf password file and we are gonna need we're gonna need to go and add smtp details with the user and the password to do this uh, we're gonna go and uh, create a file and in here i will add the details i will move this windows in here because i already pre-configured this so you don't see my password I will gonna go and save it. So right now I've created this this file with the details. You just need to, to go and modify the username and password and add them in here. Next we're gonna go and create the hash with the password and the SMTP details users. You see that uh, in this way Postfix knows how to what credential to use when um, when uh, sending emails. Let's go and run this command and create the hash. Okay, the hash is created. Next thing that we are going to need to do is to be sure that only root has access to this to this file. We're gonna go and change the, the ownership on it on the DB file that was created with the pulse map and to the original file. And we'll make it read only. Let me go and run this command. Okay. Okay, so we made the read read only these files so next when initially try to configure this uh, when i've tried to reset the password from one uh, wordpress environment that i have on uh, on this vps i was receiving this error message relay is allowed as, uh, as the wordpress at the domain cannot send uh, emails with uh, Zepto mail, so you need to actually use an email address with the domain you registered there. You cannot relay emails with other hosts on, on Zoho mail or Zepto mail in our case. So, to be able to make the server send, uh, send the emails only with the address that we want, we need to create these two files sender canonical. They are already in, in, in here, center canonical maps. You see here, there is a reg ex expression, regular expression that uh, it is added in this. This is for the, the sender. So every email address that tries to send, it will be replaced with our email address and the same it will happen for the, for the header. So that's why we need to modify these two files. And in here, we add these regular expressions that will replace uh, the email address that tries to send the email with the one that we put in here. In our case, I will, I will use one with the domain that I have set up, dragoshotbidas.com. So let's go and modify this file. We do sudo nano to modify this file and create it in the beginning because it is not there. So let me sudo nano. And in here we just add the regular expression with the email address that wants to be used for the from, like this. Let me save it. Okay, next we're gonna go and create also the header, SNTP header checks. In here you can replace only the email address and you can also add a name if you want in here and it will use this name to send emails but for this i'm gonna use 
directly this and we copy this modify this file sudo nano and in here I will add the email address that I want to be used in the header the same one that was created a previous step let's go and save this let me see if everything was created correctly okay everything is created correctly next when i created this on uh, on hesner the this file mail name was having the the name of the VPS, it, it's with cloud.vidas.com and uh, POSIX was trying to send email with this uh, name and we need to tell POSIX to use our domain to send emails, not a subdomain, not anything else, the one that we already have in Zepto mail. So to do this, we're gonna need to modify this file. mail name and in here we just remove the cloud in our case and we let only the domain okay sorry let me save this okay the next thing that we're gonna need to do is to go and uh, reload the postfix and then we can go and try to see how the SMTP emails, relay email server, it's working. So let's reload this. Okay, the configuration is refreshed for port fix. Next, next what uh, we'll do, we'll gonna reset the password of one of the websites that it's already on this, on this server. So there is a log where all the email activity is kept it's in var log mail dot log and in here we are gonna just open it to see the messages in the email server it's working to do this we are gonna do a tail minus f so to display all the details is here the last restart happened and right now we're gonna go and try to send an email to do that i have an account in here on website and we are gonna go and reset the password this password we put the name and right now the email should have been sent and in the logs you can see more details to see to see the message and in here you see for instance the message id you see the from and uh, you see the replace that happened in, in, in the header because of the command that is set and we have the 250 message received so the email should have been sent let's open the mailbox and see that this is the case so you see in here like uh, we have received the email from WordPress with the password reset so it means that uh, the relay mail server it's, it's working and it's able to send the emails with the Zepto mail uh, configuration in this way you are uh, you are configuring your uh, Zepto mail to be a SMTP relay server on the on a Hasner VPS if you enjoy this video, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. See you next time.